take a look at the exceptional master rig plugin that comes with WaveLab Pro 9. Since its release, it has become one of the most powerful tools in many mastering engineers toolbox. Master rig is a suite of different processes that can be employed in a modular fashion. We have four different families of dynamics, equalizing, saturation, and imaging within the plugin. Let's take a look at the built-in EQ. So the EQ is an eight band parametric EQ. Each band could be a low shelf, peak, high shelf, or a notch filter. The outer bands also have the capability of doing up to 48 dB of cut, so you could do high pass, low pass filters very effectively. Each of the bands can be employed in several different configurations. They could be working as a stereo EQ, or we could have the mid and side, and this is the middle of the panning spectrum, and the sides EQ'd independently. Or if we wanted to switch from mid side back to stereo or left right where we could employ our left and right channels within the single band independently as well. Now one of the things that's very helpful is when you're EQing a song to actually know what key you're dealing with. So if you we see our frequencies represented here graphically in the frequency spectrum, but if we wanted to actually just come here, I could just type in a note such as G3 and the EQ frequency will automatically adjust accordingly. When I come here, we could also enable the auto listen for filter. So as I adjust this, I only hear what that EQ is doing to the audio kind of soloed from the rest of the frequency spectrum. Now I let go. And you can hear how incredibly smooth the EQ is. If I wanted to add gain at this stage, we go to the bottom. Now there's some handy keyboard shortcuts and modifiers that you could use. Um, so if you're just here and you don't want to go down and grab the knobs, if you hold down the control or command key, you're able to, as you adjust, lock the frequency in. So at this point, I could only adjust the gain or cut. If I hold down the alter option, I can't adjust anything other than the frequency. Holding down the shift, all I can adjust is the parametric Q. So using these different modifier keys can really help you dial in your EQ very effectively without having to go down to the knobs. Now one of the things that's very helpful also is Master Rig has built-in undo and redo. So you have unlimited levels of undo and redo within the plugin itself. So if you've made a mistake, it's very easy to go back to where you were. Now, if we wanted to add another module, let's say a compressor, at this point we could have up to four bands and, or we could limit that to multiple bands just by clicking on the plus and minus here. Now there's four different types of compressors and these are all multi-band compressors. We have a standard compressor as well as tube, a vintage, or a maximizer. And just like before, if I wanted this to be stereo, I wanted to have independent left right or independent mid side, we could do that as well. The standard tube and vintage compressors can also have a side chain input that you could activate. So as you're playing, so if you want to adjust the output, or the frequency cutoff point where that crossover is. And suggest that. And if I wanted to switch the signal flow to have the EQ after, I could just drag and drop the modules like so. 
Now, the next module we add is similar to a multiband compressor in theory, but it's kind of a different signal flow. And this is a dynamic EQ, and we could have two of these employed. So again, we can see low shelf, peak, high shelf on our EQ frequencies. Stereo, mid side, or left right independent control for each of the frequencies. So this is gonna allow us to, as we adjust our EQ, to just have more compression. Directly on that particular frequency range. So while it sometimes can accomplish a similar thing to a multi-band compressor, you can have more control over the parametric aspect of the EQ and how the signal flow is routed through the plugin is also quite different. The next module we add is gonna be our saturator. And here we could have two different types of saturation. So we could choose to have tape or tube for each of the frequency ranges. So let's say I want tape for the low end and we'll adjust our output here, add a little more drive. Let's say on the vocal frequency range, I want this to have a little more tube sound. And again, I could choose whether I want it to be left, right, or mid side for each of the frequencies here. So again, two different saturation types with the capability of stereo, left, right, mid side. And again, if you want fewer bands, click on the minus or the plus sign, and you could configure it how you want. The next one is a very simple one, and it's called, it's a multiband imager. So, so many times you may get a recording and people run it through something to make the uh, stereo spectrum, uh, you know, wider, and it does it for all frequencies. And while it may sound really good for the high end, to put that sizzle on, you may want to actually decrease the width of the low end to make it more focused. So again, I could change the frequency range just by grabbing it, boost it. And our last module that we'll add is gonna be our limiter. And there's several different components within the limiter itself. So I could have control over the mid inside. So again, this isn't mid frequencies, but what's in the middle part of the panning spectrum. So if I wanna make it sound wider, I could boost the wide. Or if I wanna sound narrower. So you hear the change on the delays. Now there's also a multi-band envelope shape where you think of this as a transient designer. So again, I could take different fre frequency ranges, add more attack, more release, or less output. The harmonic component allows you to add second and third order harmonics, as well as attenuate gain. And on our limiter section, we could have either a maximizer or a brick wall limiter. And again, once you have these set up, you can just change the settings and change the signal flow of the signal routing. Now, if you want to easily compare different configurations, what you could do is you have different scenes. So I could copy this particular scene here. And at that point, say, okay, I wanted to go directly here, and then I could change the signal flow order. And as I'm doing this, I could compare. So even though I just kind of did this very haphazardly, bypass. Now, one of the things that's been incorporated with the latest version of WaveLab is a number of presets from well-known engineers. 
So if I just wanted to come here, we could say, okay, I wanted uh, a preset from Alan Morgan doing electronic dance, which is appropriate for this. And we'll go ahead and bypass. Or let's go to Greg Lukens. And we'll do just like a concert preset that he did create it. And again, this gives you some presets to kind of start with, let's say, you want to do kind of London techno preset here. Go to our last engineer. And then bypass it. If you're looking for a way to radically improve the audio quality of your final product, the Master Rig is a perfect solution for that with unprecedented control and flexibility. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.